Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's amazing to have you back. And today we're going to talk about what to do when no diet plan is working for you. What do you do when you feel like you tried everything and nothing works for you? Okay, now, first, I'm Hilda Larson. I'm a health and mindset coach. You might know this, but I'm also an author of three books from Hell to Inspired, Know the Truth and Get Healthy, and no more bullshit. Yeah, I'm a speaker. You can hire me from my website, inspiredbyhilda.com. I'm a detox specialist, which a lot of you probably knows me most from doing, uh, but I'm most of all a life enthusiast. Now, I come to you with these videos because my intention is to inspire you with all these different topics so that you know that you can take charge of your health and become whatever you want in your life, okay? So today, speaking about what if I've tried all the different diets out there and nothing works. Now, it isn't like you go searching on Google and you find a diet when you're searching for the most healthy diet or how to heal autoimmune or how to heal cancer or how to heal whatever it is that you are facing right now. Fatigue, could be stomach problems, neck, migraine, diabetes, you know, so many labels on the same thing, actually, acidity. So, when you go searching, you're getting everything up there. Now it's really popular with the carnivore diet, you have the paleo diet, you have, you know, which they're going toward the ketosis. There will be the, what they call the balance, the whole food, uh, the raw food, the high fat raw food, gourmet raw food. Um, and then you have the fruitarians and the low fat raw vegans. You have raw till four and high raw. You know what? I get that it's confusing. I mean, I remember way back when I was eating most everything, I was so confused myself. It was like one week you read in the magazine that eggs were healthy for you. And then the next week eggs were out. And then all of a sudden this were healthy and then that was out. And then the gluten thing came in and now gluten was out. That left pretty much, you know, every pastry that they had out there. So I get that it's confusing and I get that we have to, you know, know what we're doing. But the thing is this, when we're looking for a diet plan, we're looking for someone that can give us a guideline that they have a knowledge about that we don't have, but we wanna trust something and we wanna trust a system or we wanna trust something that kind of looks or seems a little bit complicated, a little bit put together because that will make it true, right? Because that will mean that they know more than us so that we can find another authority. And I'm, I'm standing here as a teacher and you might think, well, Hilda, you're also speaking about diet. So what makes you say that? Shouldn't we listen to you? Well, the thing is, no, not really. I always say, you know, you, 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 you listen to all, but you learn from a few and you follow no one. Meaning when I talk to you, my main purpose is to educate you to guide you towards information, towards your own body. I want to guide you towards simplicity. I want you to make sure that you're not hung up in the complexity that humans have done around diet. When someone comes to me and they're like, what about the blood type diet? And I'm like, yeah, I went there. I have the books. I've been through it. I was, I was falling into that trap. And when I say trap, I say it's a mind trap. Why could I say that? Because if you pull back, like from anything, if you pull back and you are looking at things from an objective perspective of not being in it, looking for the solution, if you're just looking at it, trying to be logical from a spiritual standpoint, from an emotional or more, um, yeah, more of a spiritual standpoint, you will see that, okay, so if we came to this earth because we have so many different blood types, right? A and the B and the A, B and the O and the negative and the positive. If we came in here with different blood types, meaning we're supposed to eat a different diet, then where would we know this? Would that be tattooed on our butt? Would it be like a sign in our forehead? Or would our mothers know, like innately know, what we should be doing to get the perfect diet for us? No. And if you look towards nature, every species or the species that we hang around, that we know uh, about, have a lot of different blood types, but they all eat their specific diet, their species specific diet. Meaning even a human body, we 
we, 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 we look different and we feel different and we obviously have different ailments or different struggles because we have different environments and we're eating different food and we have different weaknesses. But if you put down two perfectly healthy humans and you oh, look at their insides, they're all the same. They all have the same heart, digestive system, teeth, the stomach acids, all the organs, all the glands, all the interior is exactly the same. Meaning everything that's within us that has to do with digesting food is exactly the same. So from nature's point of view, we're all designed to be able to at least eat the same if we wanted to. Now there are so many options that we, we have choices as humans. We can eat whatever we want. As long as we can distinct it and see it as food, we can eat it. And I'm gonna give you specifics on diet and I'm gonna go back and get back to this soon, but just hear me out. Now, people come to me as well and they ask me and they say, because they know that I eat mostly fruit or you know, mostly all fruit and herbs. I'm not, as, I'm not the one that's gonna put out like a hundred videos on what do I eat because my profession is to guide you from where you are to where you wanna be. And that could be different from what I'm doing. I'm not here to promote what I'm doing. I'm not here to say, follow my journey. No, I'm here as a teacher now because that's my profession. And over all these years working with so many clients, I see what works for, both, for everyone because I'm a coach. I'm gonna teach you to listen to you. I'm gonna teach you, you how to act around your body so that it can tap into its healing potentials. So with me, it's not that I am on a restricted diet that I have put myself on. Like you could say, but can't you eat nuts? Can't you eat fats? Can't you eat this? Can't you eat fish? Can't you eat broccoli? I can eat whatever I want. I can eat whatever I want every day, like you, like all of us can. Every single day we have a choice to eat whatever we want. Now me personally, I choose at this point to eat what it is that I feel serve my body best, that I feel is allowing my body to release what needs to be released emotionally, physically, mentally, and that is keeping my vibration high. Because in these times, I tell you, the vibration on this earth is changing. A lot of us are feeling it and we're going into a very different time. So crazy stuff is happening. A lot of shit's coming out. We're all going through our own stuff, but your journey is about your stuff. My journey is about my stuff and I'm happy to share that with you. I just don't want you to take it as a protocol for you, okay? If you want a personal protocol with me, order a one-on-one -on -one coaching. That's always where you start. If you don't wanna jump in the membership group and join us there for group support, for my opinions on the Facebook group, and then also have access to all my courses and lives and oh, so much content in that membership group. So worth it. Um, but that's another thing. See, I can eat whatever I want. The same can you. Now, what does this have to do with all the diets out there and what you should eat? And when you're sitting down thinking, nothing works because it's never the diet that works. You see, you can't go in and have one outline of a diet and say that's gonna work for something because that's not how food works. See, healing comes from a place of cleansing. It always have to. Why? Because we know now why we're sick. We're full of acids, we're full of junk, we're full of crap, we're stagnant, we're not flowing. Energy's not flowing, oxygen's not flowing, the lymphatic system's not flowing, the kidneys are not filtering out the waste, the adrenals are low, leading to all the glands being low. Nothing's firing up the, the, the oomph. Nobody's take, no, nothing's taking care of business. So we feel low and we feel down. And there's no single food that is literally going to help with that. Yeah, I know there's information out there, even that take this for this, take an apple for the liver. Yeah, you can break down any food, especially the raw living food, and find all these components that we associate with different organs because we're so good at dissipate, dissipated, like going through and breaking things down. Like this was a machinery, because we look at it as our vehicle, as our car. So it must be like a machinery. Well, it isn't. 
because the machinery you can understand with your intellect. You can say this part goes here, this part goes here, and it goes together like that. And when I take this out, this doesn't work. The body doesn't work like that. The body actually is a, it's, it's a trans, it transforms one compound to another. It can transform one mineral to another mineral. It's, it's an alchemist and it's mostly actually driven by our thoughts, by our vibration, and also the vibration in food. Now, when a lot of people change their diet at first, they will feel better depending on where they come from. Just look at, you know, think about it. When you leave out gluten and dairy, for example, so if your diet was eliminating those two, you would feel better. You will absolutely feel better for a while anyway. So the eliminative or elimination diet, I always say is probably the best that was ever uh, created for people with chronic issues because it will teach you a lot about the crap that you're putting in and the responses that the body has to it. Now, the way I look at diet is this. It's never a diet that's going to work for your ailment or not. It's simply a diet that is going to allow you or in the same at the same time stop putting crap in. So you, you, the philosophy of first do no harm is like the number one in my book. First you just stop what's doing harm. That's, that's what you stop. And in my world, dead animal food, the way I see it, it it's not going to be beneficial for me or the animal. Um, there is nothing about the cooked that I can see is raising vibration or giving me something that is superior to the raw state of any food. And working with people, there is no food that I see that keeps such a high vibration and that is so easy to digest that looking, then looking more on the fruit side, even walking away from the vegetables, which is so much harder for a human to digest. We're not herbivores. We don't have the intestines to break down so much cellulose. So, and that's another long discussion. Now I'm just leading you towards simplicity here because I'm not talking about a diet plan. So if you went on a diet plan that didn't work, why don't you step away from any diet plan and just say, I'm not gonna diet at all. I'm not gonna look towards the foods to heal me. I'm gonna look at myself. I'm gonna look and I'm gonna say, what's, what, what's going on in my life? What crap in my life is holding me back? What's my relationship look like? What does my job look like? What is my mental state? How do I look at life? How do I see my neighbor? How do I feel in my heart? Do I walk around feeling gratitude or anger? Do I have lungs that are filled with grief and sadness? Or do I feel like I'm ready for life? This is a mental state that you reset, first of all. Now, when you get to that part, you simply connect with the simplicity of nature. Pull back and say, how simple can I do this? What can I do that's least harmful to this body? And once you do that, your body's going to start eliminating waste, which, e, which is the key. That is the anti-diet. That's the no diet. It's the allowing. It's the allowing diet. That's what you want. It's for your body to be able to allow to cleanse. But it's hard to let go when you're holding on to fear and anger, unforgiveness. Um, it's, it's really hard. Even by changing what you eat, it's going to be hard to walk towards healing. So what are the first steps you do, you say? Well, I would start by doing a couple of changes in my regular lifestyle to get my focus away from the diet. I would start by walking outside every day for at least 10 minutes and taking my shoes off for a period of time. If you're in a big city, see if you can find like a little spot of grass right off the sidewalk. Or if not even that, just hold with your bare hands on a tree and you'll be grounded. So I would start by doing like say four simple things. Number one, I would walk outside every day and get grounded. Number two, I would change my sleeping habits and go to bed earlier so I didn't have to use the alarm clock. Number three, I would start every morning with a fresh juice or at least a fruit meal. Following the fast, leaving it as the break, breakfast and then also stretching that a little to a little later in the day, not doing the breakfast as early in the day so that you have 
a so-called dry fasting window, meaning no drinking, no eating, no nothing from one, say from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m., which will leave you 12 hours. That's a big step. And then I would start oil pulling every morning. So just those simple things. You oil pull, you start with fruit or juice, you ground yourself and you go to bed earlier. Now that's what I call the no diet change. Just that will start doing something with your mental state. And then next from that, you start meditating, you start being still, you start connecting with yourself, with your emotions. Think emotions first. They are the most important. Affirmations is nothing with no emotions. Like you can't go around saying, I love this, I love this, I love this, while you feed, feel a uh, hate in your heart. The hate is what's going to uh, be sent out to all the cells in your body. So that's what you're going to be allowing more of. And what does come to the diet, when you just start with your breakfast, you know, you just allow simpler and simpler and simpler. And that's what I would do. I would just look at simplicity. I would look at nature and say, you know what? We're just going to eat whatever we can get. So if you're in a colder climate and it's harder to get all the fresh fruits, you know, go to frozen or go to vegetables. Do it. Do the best that you can. Don't get pragmatic. I said, don't get crazy about it. Like, don't get into being a control freak about it because that's not good either. Let everything flow. And like I say, I can eat whatever I want and you can too. It's just about the choices. So what you do when you've tried every diet and nothing works is you stop dieting, you step back, you change a few things in your life for the better, you become a member, <laughs> you sign up, you show up, you get in and you get going. And I want to see you get healthier every single day. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I dearly value every one of you. Namaste.